We can't listen to the whole thing because it, it has spoilers, I'm pretty sure. Is that the boy Makoto? Is that Hisoka? Why did my camera turn off? Oh my god. So this is how we're starting up Danganronpa 2. It says goodbye to Spare, but it looks like we still don't be over here depressed with all this. He just got stolen! As I was saying before my camera was so rudely, so rudely turned itself off, and old dude got stuck. He, he stole somebody else. Why y'all kidnapping people? Who are you? We on Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. I know it says low game. I was just, um, I just came in right quick to make sure it ran good. I ain't see nothing. I sure ain't see this. Why they kidnapping people? Is that Makoto? Like, is the main crew back? Like, the, the people who survived the last game, are they back? Is that something? I'm not too sure. I just know they... I just realized that's a female Monokuma. What's up with that? Look, look, I'm gonna start asking questions. I'm gonna start asking questions. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna go mean. I'm gonna go mean. Why not? I'm gonna go mean. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Bruh, who are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Okay. Hey, are you right. listening? I mean, I can hear you. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... I... Ooh. Six chapters. Just like the last game. We're in the prologue right now. This is cool. Don't get around for two. Goodbye, despair. Okay, I like the way they're doing this. I like the way they're showing this off. Like an 8 bit. Eight -bit. <laughs> that day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day I felt truly significant. <laughs> Who is bro? Ugh. And when that long awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I couldn't really put into words. I felt like I had just become part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. It was truly in a dream. I was truly in a dream. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long, will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of our current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That's how Hope Speak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those here, those who are chosen, the students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope Speak Academy, the school I just deserve more than anything else. The truth is, my circumstance is a little different from the, that of my peers. Well, I guess I could put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and there's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. 
and formalities are always a little embarrassing. So far, I like his voice more than Makoto's. My thing is this, it looks like they're setting him up to basically be Makoto in the same situation as Makoto for the same reasoning as Makoto. And I'm trying to figure out what the freak this is about. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. <laughs> Goober name. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. Uh, so that's different from Makoto. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... What's the... What's going on? For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always... Always, 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 always... Ways until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hoped. I might have admired talented individuality, but I finally forever tried my best and became true. What the freak? Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No, I... I should hurry. Huh? Wait a second. This is weird. This is extremely weird. A fat guy that looks like Byakuya. Who is that? That's a girl that looks like Chihiro. It's like that's that looks like Mondo with Taka's kind of hair. What is going on? Is that supposed to be Hina? I'm assuming I'm going to assume this is like a different universe or something. I don't know. Huh? huh? Who goes there? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> Are you feeling all right? You look quite pale. Uh, um. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then you're all. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. These guys, everyone, the freshmen who were accepted in a Hope's Peak Academy, the ultimate. I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. This is bumping. Gather. That's literally just a fat Byakuya. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the ultimate, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to have more confidence. Thus to hide my nervousness from the others and while trying my very best to act cool, I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then the classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk into this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or a homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss. It's all clear now. It's Bak that's blocking his voice actor too! Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. 
Who does that look like? Who does that look like? She looks like somebody, but I can't put my finger on it. Hey, is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> that is not her voice. There are only 16 deaths in the classroom, and this guy is a 16th student. Such ignorance. <laughs> he even has Byakuya's voice lines. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. And what are we gonna talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Huh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's faces. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realize that you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, hey what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you stepped foot on this campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here and you don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true for all of you? Yeah, that happened to me too, but... Huh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Is that his actual- is that his skull? I mean, is, is is that his like, his scalp? Or or he has braids on his side? Cause it's not colored in. It's not colored different from his skin, so it's like... Is that a scar? What's wrong with you? Everyone felt that dizziness, that's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? Huh? Huh? So in other words... Meaning we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is gonna get even stranger. Uh, I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a, that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean, it's a major problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? Is that Junko? Good! Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible! Uh, seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Huh? It won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Huh? Why? <laughs> a little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a crap. But that door wouldn't budge at all! Is that Jotaro? Hey, hey! Hey, hey, what's going on? Jeez! Even with all my mind, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Hey, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She, she's right, That's, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. <sighs> Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we've been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt, as though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. This is... Or perhaps... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... But according to Hope's Peak Academy, there's no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Oh, okay. Ah, you're wrong! This is no entrance exam! What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Who are you? What? Hey, Tubby. Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then who was it? Um... Um, actually, it's mine. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's Hello. desk? All right, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin.
What the freak? Did Monokuma have a sex change? What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. I don't like her voice. Magical miracle girl Usami, aka Usami. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Huh? Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? Hey, that's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very soft and fluffy. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um, um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. Hm. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't like, don't act like such a coward over a child's toy. Hmm. Even this is remote control. Doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. I can't take him serious anymore. I can't even get mad at him. I can't get mad at him no more. I can't take this serious. His movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher on this school trip. What did you say? School trip. Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, ding, ding. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? I need to know what's going on here. That was hard! Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world should stop making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky, white clouds. Blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Um. Huh? Whoa, what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? Why? Huh? What, what's going on? Everyone! Everyone, please stay calm! <laughs> There's no reason to panic, see? Look around! Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us some details. Where in the world are we? Um. Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're <laughs> out where it's better, out where it's wetter. <laughs> out by the sea. <laughs> I, I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at the school and now we're by the sea? This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started, that's all. Hold on a sec. But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes that comes first. She's right. We're all supposed to be attending Host Peak Academy. I see. Ah, uh, Host Peak Academy, I see, I see, you don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Host Peak Academy. Then in that case, Alrighty. please forget about Host Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? Bastard! The hell you mean we should forget about it? Come on. 
Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? What? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you say island? Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us. An island free from all other people in danger. Are you saying this island is un uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Oh. What? K kill each other? Yes. Nuh uh! No way! Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no no in this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah! Yeah, it's so scary! What are you thinking? Prothitis was donking wrong for trigger happy happy. Hey! 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 Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I'll shout announce it to everyone right now! While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. What did heart you say? What did you say? Heart-throbbing school trip. That's right. Spend these peaceful, peaceful days relaxing and relaxing. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about. Free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey heart-throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then... Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt. What the heck is going on? Okay. Okay, Sonya, never mind. <laughs> Akane Awari. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Hold on, I can't move this fast. I can't. No, Kaizom. I already got a few characters at the Pekka. I already got a few characters I think I'm a, just I think I'm gonna like. What happened to you? Why is Byakuya here? I'm, I just want, I'm just hey. confused on why Byakuya is here. Hey. Can you hear me? Oh, my fault. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Yeah, I'm good. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. He kind of sounds like Makoto. His hair kind of looks like Makoto's too. Hey, are you listening? Hey. hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean. The sun rays beaming down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dongan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the left stick, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the A button. You can examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the right stick. 
if you press the what is that is that a is that a square press the square button you can use the mysterious power to see every or is that a try i don't know the world sure has become super inconvenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go now then please search the beach thoroughly and progress the story Before I talk to that guy, she's trying to understand the situation I'm in first. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now's not the time to be impressed by it. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen's blank. What is this being used for? Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. The crystal clear shining blue ocean is perfect for a tropical island. So what's going on here? Never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand the confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Okay. The ultimate luck. He is Makoto. His name is literally just Makoto Naigi with words changed around. I'm just realizing that. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Host Peak chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything, that's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student. You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh, no, I'm not troubled or anything. No, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this, too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope Speak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attain Oak Peak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> ah, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Nagito Kamaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but it doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. But let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I, 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head, as if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was, it was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh huh? Without realizing, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Ah, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, did something just beep? 
What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right, that strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is this in my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but what is this? <laughs> it's an e-handbook! What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> uh, I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um... Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is t absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbooks together, all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this trip, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Hey, hey! She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it does, does, still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in the game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't gonna be in danger right away. You're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet? Yep. Then I think it's, oh, my fault. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's true, but where did everyone go? Perhaps. Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Okay. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's the island's name? Is there any a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So why don't we finish introducing ourselves and to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much ran around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Perhaps it's a tropical climate. Or is that, what's her name, Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? Use the handbook. Hey. Ah, uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map on the, of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. Literally Makoto! I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? You didn't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then was I also... I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. No one expected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted in the Host Peak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone on this island then. Oh, I should apologize. Something I forgot to tell you. Look at the map in your handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone is. Instantly traverse. Okay, I know all this stuff. Yeah, I know all this stuff. Travel travel on the island can be done through the screen. You can move with the left stick. You can run by holding B. Finish raising your pet. There may be a small reward. What the heck is this? Why is that going up? What is that level? Do I level up for walking? At the airport. <sighs> this is the airport, right? So those things over there must be 
Airplanes. Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? Do you know how to fly a plane, stupid? Huh? Do you know how to fly a plane? Are you capable of doing that? Uh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show. Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Why your name Soda, bro? Kazuichi Soda. All right, I see you, game. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a sovereign when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix his plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Extreme violence is prohibited. Be considerate and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere. I already, yeah, I saw those. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trail trip? There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these days in relaxing day. Spend these. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Uzami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is, a, is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closer at that strange looking bunny girl, she, you, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. That disgusts me. You disgust me. Don't ever say nothing stupid like that ever again, you disgusting person. To think I was this close to saying I low-key rock with you. Stop right there. If you value your life, don't come any closer. Huh? <laughs> I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What is bro waffling about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness, however I welcome you. Listen well! In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. lucky student you're the ultimate breeder bro all you do is <laughs> you don't got nothing better to offer this world other than clapping cheeks gang that's all you got going on all you can do is clap cheeks <laughs> bro please get a life he's kidding right if he's actually serious that's pretty out there let me ask now then it is my turn to ask questions whose master are you what which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Bro, what are you on about? What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! What? What? Answer me now! Though I should cast you into the watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps 
I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've had taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So a mere insect. Your ha! Your magic essence caps out a lowly five. Trash. Trash? Really? Is it wrong for me to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare speak to me. Speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> so it's like something you'd, you'd see on a nature show. I guess that totally fits the bill of the ultimate breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devils of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk. Jump P has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> I don't like this guy. He's annoying. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I heard he can tame any animal and even manage to succeed at proliferating an endanger endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Yeah, I don't want to communicate with that bum any- Is that a pineapple? Okay, I leveled up. What does that do? Is that like for the pet? Is that something for the pet? What is what does leveling up do? So this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're on we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need we don't need to worry about food or other necessities for a while. For a while. Wow. Uh, it's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poison? What? Huh? You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even this supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in this gigantic supermarket, and there's nobody else here except us. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. What happened? It's nothing. Sayaka? She's staring at me funny. I'm finna have to- I'm gonna beat the crap out of her. I don't know what she freaking looking at, but I- I- Hey, if we got a problem, we can solve it right freaking now. You need to watch who you looking at. Um, you know... I'm sorry! <laughs> Why is she crying?! <laughs> How'd you mean? Bullying a girl. Not cool, Haji- I didn't even say anything to her! I didn't do anything! Uh, so your name is Hajime? If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... No, my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. She's the ultimate nurse. If you're the ultimate nurse, why are you so badly hurt? Fix yourself up! Well, um, you know... <laughs> um, 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 um... Uh, my mind's drawing a blank from nervousness. Uh, and I went through all that trouble preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay. If you take your time and remember slowly, we'll wait however long it takes. We'll wait for if you we we'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. No, I won't. Huh? <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get get anywhere asking her. Oh, guess I'll just ask you so I won't get anywhere asking her. What's her deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help. So it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat her, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. Why are you laughing? I'm so sorry for laughing so suddenly. 
It's like she responded directly to me, bro. <laughs> nah, that's funny. It's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Oh, I'm not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man, bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. What? What is your issue, dog? Why does this keep happening? I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Lady. I don't hate you, so please calm down. Are all these people freaking mentally damaged? Peeking. Peeking. Hello. Oh, hi! Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Hello! Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh! Oh, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. I like her. Why she get? Why she? Why she look serious all of a sudden? She's like, yeah. Yes. Like she just locked in, bro. She just locked in. All right. Introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. I they see. got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Ooh, melons. No problemo. Oh, that's adorable. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Ubari would shop here. Yeah. Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? So I guess she kind of has, she's supposed to be like, kind of like Hina. The human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently their hit single, After School Pion Poyo Poyo Yan Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a, a solo career. Creative differences. Oh my my! Are you interested? Whoa, you can hear me? <laughs> Duh! Ibuki's a musician after a, a musician after all. Get like Skubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, Senna, Kanye. I too am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing? Wait, most of the people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. I like her. I like her. She gives me Asahina vibes, and y'all know I love Asahina. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps the Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like its name for the Jap is the name for the Japanese word of future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here, dude. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area you would make a good base, so why don't we look around for now? What is with this guy? So calm. It's like he doesn't it's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will be displayed if you press the button. I set the button. Ooh, I, okay, I can I can do the runner look around thing. Oh my goodness, the movement controls are still freaking terrible. They just never bothered to fix that. Anyways, what I'm gathering is like, I might be tripping, but he kind of makes me think of like, <laughs> it's like, uh, look, look, no, I'm no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm a hush. I feel like I'm gonna say something stupid. Oh, here everybody is. I'm gonna talk to him first because I already know I'm not gonna like him, so I'm gonna get him out the way. Who the hell are you? Don't talk to me all friendly. Don't talk all friendly and crap to me, idiot. 
This guy's already in a crappy mood. You. What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. Relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce ourselves? Introduce yourselves? Hey. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. <laughs> you look and sound like a cornball, dude. Ultimate Yakuza. That's Cap. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Uh, Fuyuhiko is a high school student, an heir to the Kuzuryu clan. Ah, the Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm pretty sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza clan. And it's THE Kuzuryu clan, no less. Actually... By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is extremely forbidden, so you better be careful. He'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close, I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. Uh, you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard! If you're done here, I about you idiots make like a tree and screw off. On everything, I hope you die first. I want death for you. I don't even want you to have character development. I want you to just die, baby face. Now, aren't you adorable? You over here with the butterflies and the flowers and stuff. They all floating around you and doing their thing and doing their stuff and all of that crap. Hey. Hey, aren't you that guy who was squatting on the bench earlier, burying your face, burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Okay. That's something Kyoko says a lot, isn't it? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At time. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Uh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Let's see. I'm oh. Kuzumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. I feel like I'm gonna like her. I feel like I'm gonna like her. She's a photograph. She's a photographer. Actually, Myro is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I, I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young, a young photographer, who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? What is a camera hanging from her neck? I kind of assumed that already. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. I'm decent. <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. Can't tell if they're really ultimates or like just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, you don't know? That's what that that's what that stuff the animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone. Come on. The joke of the school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do to go home? Is that true? Does she really mean that? Jeez. Hey, you should be playing culture attention. This is like really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along it doesn't make any sense. But... I may not know why we're here, but if that's all I have to do to get home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Not a big deal. Really? We're told to go on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Host Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Huh? You... Don't add me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know? Ah, my bad, my bad. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. 
Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. You better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? I like her. I like her. I like her. I like her. Oh my goodness, it sucks. How you doing? Mm. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Are you sure you're just a team manager? Um, hello. I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm, I'm Hajime Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Nekomaru Nidai. Don't forget it even if you do go to hell. I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> ah, I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. Ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager after all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he's led some high school rugby team from delinquents to full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves- oh. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> but with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team right instead of managing it. He seems chill. I'm rocking with him. Alright, what's here? Excuse me! Ah, uh, no, no, no! This building's in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know? Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. I'm really rocking with the music so far. Stop looking at me. Dang. You can't look in one direction? Why every time I move somewhere, you gotta follow my direction? Please, hop off of my meat. Stop slobbering on me, bro. So this is a hotel restaurant. Amazing. It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Open, even though we're stuck on this island. Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh, well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there's two people over talking over there. That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you can use your mouth to suck it out. Um. Poison, I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa, denied. Denied. Good day. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. <laughs> Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. You ain't on no streets. Get back in the kitchen, bucko. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? I like his voice. <laughs> hmm, I do. I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I've not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom known as Navaselec. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here, I hope we get along too. 
white porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of white. It's like she has a mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actually royalty. The ultimate princess. Normally, I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um... Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. What do you... Ha what you happy about? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend or mother friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall exalt your virtues. Exalt my virtues. Thanks, I guess. What the? I f suddenly feel the earth to drop down, drop to one knee and bow. Mm -hmm. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Terra Terra. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first as the ultimate chef. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully. Yeah, I like it. Well, guess that's No, about I like it. the big city flavor in my hometown. A country atmosphere like this is also splendid. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, are you Understand. refined, cultured, <laughs> guilty as charged? No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to be worried about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now. This might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel Miss Sony over there has a good chance of putting out. See, everyone knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I'd better not see you try that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. Mm -mm -mm. This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Yeah, I want nothing to do with that guy. I feel like just, like, you know, being associated with a guy like that would make me look like a, a, a sexual assaulter. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a, if this was really a school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island, it can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? Who are you? Identify yourself. There's some girl playing an arcade game and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. No, don't do that. She's gonna lose. Um, excuse me. I'd like to introduce myself. Hey, Chiaki! Oh, sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little? Are you sure about that? Um... Let's see. Alright, introductions, got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Nice to meet you. Hey, we gonna get along. Okay, Chiaki Nanami. Nanami? I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Yep. Yeah, totally. It seems this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like... 
I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Oh, she's kind of like me. If I don't gather my thoughts before I start talking, you know, I'm gonna get clipped on camera, so. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm needing new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's focused on her game and hasn't looked at me at all. She might be the ultimate gamer, but I actually play games at a time like this. Oh, she drooling. Hey, yo, hey, yo, clean that. What are you doing? You disgust me. Stay to your business. Oh. Um. Yes, ma'am. I think I already like her. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. A goofy odd name. She the ultimate swordsman. Okay. I'm seeing you. Actually. This dignified woman is known as the ultimate swordsman. It's hard to believe someone with such a with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. What well, is definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what the rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill, isn't that sword of yours on is that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a missed aim blow can be fatal. Well, an aim blow can be fatal, too. I'll keep that in mind. Why is Byakuya fat? I really want to figure that out. I really want to figure out why Byakuya is so fat. And what? No, no, no! More importantly, why is he here? Why is he in this game? Um. This looks like a ranch. Though there aren't... Oh. Though there aren't many animals around. Right? Ah, oh, you found it out. You again. Where are you coming from? I, I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? She talking about that toy she's holding? Mm. Um, still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. What? 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 A huge success. What the f What? What? A, a chicken just changed into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick and illusion? Think about it rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? What you got going on, shorty? Squish, squish. Huh? What's this kid doing here? She's sitting down and she's pressing her fingers onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. Okay. Traditional dancer. Squish, squish. Okay. She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? Her appearance and voice is so young, I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually. Hiyako's talent is talent is made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Probably because she looks so young, 
Her fans probably have the same niche or something. Squish, squish. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants, duh. Oh dang! Okay, hold on, she got a little, a little scary there. Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing a lot of ants, Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> <laughs> if you squish their tummy, it's just right. It makes this awesome sound. Hey you! Want to do it together? No. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. You wuss. <laughs> I like her. I like her. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. She's silly. She's a silly Billy. I like her. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? Nice to finally meet you. My name is Hajime Hinata. Uh, gotcha. Who's the other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names and I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagito Komeida. Komeida, if you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Yo. Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Goodness, man! She's a gymnast? Okay. Well... Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast, and she's an all-around super athlete. That, that's just Hina, bro! Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. I'll self-center. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason. So her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh, don't tell me you. I don't expect it. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Shoot, I might have a thing for her. Uh, hold on, uh, let me. Let's, let's calm that down. Let's calm that down. Is that a freaking bird? I'm ignoring you. Who nutted on the sign? Hajime. Hajime, it looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach the other island not far from here. Is it safe? That's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Let's go to Jabberwock Park. Oh, that's, so good. that's my goat. So this is a park. This is a park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. I'd like to inform you about another feature. Notice you have a level assigned to you. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions, examining, talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. The number of squills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Come on, again, let me check on this freaking animal. I hate you! Biaki Waki! What do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Ah, uh, Byaku, you had time for a strong intro a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byaku Yatogami. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I can tell this guy's thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually... That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is, well, enormous. 
how admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there, Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? The thing is, uh, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently, he lost his memory due to shock. He can't remember much. How foolish. Um... Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. The only thing you skinny types are good at it. It's, that's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His building that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Was that the school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all! What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that gonna be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Bye. Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. You guys are the last to arrive? What are you dilly-dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions on this island. Now that you mention it. I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh. Oh, those are there so everyone doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. Is this island really that big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um... Um, there's also a supermarket, too. It looks like stocks... It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we could stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel is also very nice. It seemed to cater to the more, to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? I found something very important on this island. I can't stop you. Girls. Very, very cute girls. Aha! All over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps! <laughs> All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here has realized that you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and crap. Such ignorance. Small dog shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth? What does he mean? What you talking about? Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did, did you find out something about the silent? Have you all gone to the park across the bridge? The park with the weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd read before. I heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean. A beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It is also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Huh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. 
Could it be? Could this island be J Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of the island? Very strange. Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hm. Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story you told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh, I don't really care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact we all gotta live here, right? Yahoo! Living together in this tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. I like it. Mm, I like this island too. <laughs> Can't say the same about the rest of you cretins. Uh huh. Did I just hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried. But I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, so there's no danger in Venus. I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? We're all living on an island like this instead? No matter what, it's completely weird. Then why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. What? To tell you the truth. Plus, if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> yeah, there's no ship and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible. There's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you that's impossible. Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? <laughs> Nuh-uh, you can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Got it? Please recall the guidelines of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with the island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. The rabbit seems rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Ooh. There's a word dangerous a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? F for now. For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. As long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that. Hm. There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey! Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Ah, oh, that's right! Of course I didn't forget! Love, love! Love, love, this is it! Don't be upset, I prepared one for you all, so don't worry! What is this? <laughs> it's an Usami strap! If you squeeze the tummy, it talks! I'm Usami! Magical miracle girl, Usami! I'm a itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk! <laughs> Isn't it cute, love, love? What a waste of time. I've been finding myself agreeing with Byakuya a lot this episode. Aww. Man, and I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed. I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. <laughs> well, Usami does mean a rabbit, you know? Regardless, a number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everyone received their straps, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey. hey, you can't take nature with trash! <laughs> See, even you think they're trash! Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> and I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Be? You have something else? Well, compared to the Asami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come this way. We've come all this way to a tropical island. So I thought it'd be great to do something island tropical themed. <laughs> like what? You're throwing? You thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful. Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. 
My loins are still full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teratura. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! Just ignore him, Sonya! I got it! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Ah, uh, uh, campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! Are you serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas. But we're gonna be at the ocean, then first. But if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first. Ta-da! Ta-da! This is what it's all about. This is a swimming bag? Love, love. Correct! Love love! Whoa! Whoa, then that means Ta-da! That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Yes. Uh, it's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just if you want to go swimming, you can. Then there's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Yahoo! Bro, so far, Hajime is my least favorite character. Right next to that Yakuza. Huh? That's right. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The weather's this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree, see? Right. Your tender loins, I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? All right! Let's go change! Those of, uh, those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Wasami and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you gonna do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't do, won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? <laughs> You're not going to swim, Byakuya? Not possible. Of course not. That's enough. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then, why aren't you going to swim? <laughs> I simply don't like ocean, ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. I mean, at least he's honest, though. So it looks like she's staying, too. That's unexpected. She seems like the more active type. Hey, you're not going to swim? Huh? Huh? Of course I am. Why? Then why don't you go with the others to change? So annoying. I don't need to change. All I got to do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm going to wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. Right. So let's hurry and swim. With those words, Akane quickly began taking off her- Whoa, hey! I won't forgive you. Hey there, shameful behavior like that is a no-no. If you're going to swim, you got to wear a swimsuit. So annoying. What a pain. Woo-hoo! Man, you just- I hate you. I wanted to see that- I'm my apologies. What you gonna do, little one? You're not gonna swim? <laughs> nah, it's more fun to it was fun to nah, it's more fun to step on crabs walking on the beach. I see. I like her a lot. Ah, uh, speaking of which, everyone has returned. As Usami said that I turned around and saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Yeah! Yes! My apologies. Holy crap. Yay! The sea! Uh, the water is so cool. It feels great. Oh, uh, too salty! This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? <laughs> oh! You're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? 
rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. You seem a little too open, like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of. <laughs> of intense bloodlust. It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this. That will be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. <laughs> Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? Can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Huh? Hajime, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits! Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one wearing. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds, it doesn't look natural at all. Hmm? Eh, huh? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right! It was sunny just a few moments ago! <laughs> hey! What is this? Huh? I didn't, didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment, just when it seemed like it couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Uh, uh, mic check, mic check. Is that the... <gasps> Bro, no happiness for us. That voice was so laid back and gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different from Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt in my body shudder. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised. Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction! You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! Could, could it be? This voice! If this is, oh, this is very bad, I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Hmm. It's best if we go too. Jabba Walk Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait! What's... What about... What about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over... <laughs> I'll head over there first. I'll head over there first. Bro, 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 stop it! Oh my goodness, that boy an earthquake, he a natural disaster! Crap, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something freaking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Are you coming, little one? Aww. Boo, there's just too many crabs. Bye. Fine, I'll just step on them later. You crash better run while you can. I like her. She's just like me for real. Uh, ooh. As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Is that the goat? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> the goat! Monokuma, 
I'm the headmaster of this academy! Monokuma appears! Ahem! Now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame! This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! Oh wait, lame sauce, is that tasty? Just as I thought it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Ah, shut up! Hey! I'm um... living, you know? And I'm already about to barf! Thanks to your lukewarm attitude! Just what's this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored! Hey! This isn't this just ain't fun at all! You better knock on it, you better knock off this farce right now! What are you You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. What, what the hell is this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any dang sense. What? What, what is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here. But as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! yeah! Opening! Victory! Dang, Monokuma has hands! Go! My magic stick! Now then... What to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <laughs> What? No! That's a no no! What are you doing to her? Ta da! All done! What? What is this? No! I'm not supposed to look weird like this! Change me back to normal! What's this? My, my, defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Monami a little troublemaker? Big brother, Monami. My little sister. Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monami. <laughs> Though it's only an eternal, uh, external setting, after all. Hey. Why, why do I have to be your little sister? Well, what? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't like this. Mm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me Big So brother. that's how it's going to be, Monami. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Ooh. How? Even in this place changed to Monami. I won't forgive hey, you. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? No. It hurts a lot when you punch me. About that now you've learned your lesson what what is this living stuffed animals fighting each other it's like completely insane <laughs> oh, if only I still had the magic stick I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma <laughs> oh, it's your fault for leaving yourself open even a one second opening is life-threatening on a battlefield hey 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 what's with this stupid performance huh who freaking knows <laughs> But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What? What is this? What's going on? Huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? Bear it! I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I, I don't understand if it's not so, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? 
Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. This is Monokuma. Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point on, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip. <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along, where everyone gets along, has no stimulation at all. It's so dang boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey. You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for so let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're cute, right? Killing contestants. I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I absolutely will not allow such bloody events. Dumb child. <laughs> Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times will I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than their older brother. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Now then, we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> well, what do you mean, killing school trip? You say. Isn't it obvious? You guys are gonna kill each other. Well. Kill each other, I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other? No way, no way, no way. What are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. Yahoo! If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this school's killing trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. In the class trial, there will be a showdown between the black and killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you will present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the black and killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to lay, live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> Ooh, sounds familiar, but simple. It's a familiar, but simple rule, right? What the heck? Familiar. You keep repeating that word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is. Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw. Please don't do that. Hmm. Ahem. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning, to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whatever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill all you please. It's an all you can murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic! What? That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutch my chest without realizing it. Which he beat in my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't mess with me. That's right. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait until you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I, I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? 
what what if nobody gets murdered does that mean we'll never leave this island who knows <laughs> anyway anyways i'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner what's going on w wait a second why do we have to do this what's this well it's obvious the reason you all need to kill each other huh hold on hold on You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it. What a fight. Do we need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep on saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Oh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. <laughs> If you guys want to do it by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey. Force? What are you going to do? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Please don't summon the lightning spear of gun gear. Come forth, mana beasts. That's different. What do I do? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it. Broda sent every variation of the Power Rangers after me. He got the he got the Decepticons coming after me, bro. Like I don't want smoke. You got it. I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Why did the statue move? Wrong. That's no statue, they're mana beasts! Ah. Monster! Hey. No, I just said they're mana beasts! The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. But that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No. no, this can't be. This is just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> yeah, a nightmare, he says. A nightmare, he says. He's just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. I'm being Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit with your narrow mo notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Everyone, please stay back. I, I will protect everyone. I can't lose. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Ah. Huh? What's this? Blah. Ah. ah, I know. This is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! Alrighty then, it's decided. It's You'll be time. my example. You'll be my example to everyone. Don, you almost shot me! I'm lucky happy. I, I, don't, I didn't like her. I was about sick of her anyway. What? Whoa! What is that? It's only the first stage and Monami is already dead? What? 
Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? Modern beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction! The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before. And had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> That's right. That's what I wanted. This feeling of despair. Giving an example was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there horrified. We were powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well then. Now then, I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've also updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true in any of any society, really. Now then. Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip! After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What? What just happened? Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell could we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mono beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Uh... <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway... More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh... You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... We don't need to be cautious of those machines or even whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. I feel like this Byakuya... It's almost as if this Byakuya has the character development from the first Danganronpa game. That's kind of like what I'm getting from this. And that's only confusing me more. We all looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to es Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but... Even I'm no different. So can I truly be confident that something like this isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why I felt so hopeless. That day became a day like un unlike any other. 
a day which held more significant held a more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. That's hard. I don't want to risk spoilers. I've obtained a present, Fosho Broken One. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the black end is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the black is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving black will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate the island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. What the freak? I hate you. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. What the freak? That was the Danganronpa 2 prologue. I was wondering what the freak was going on, like... But, I, you know, I, I see, you know. I see. They were trying to trick us, that's it. But I was wondering, look, hey man, look. Peace out. I love you guys. That was the prologue. Tap in for chapter one.